Hi Taurus, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-August to the end of August 2021 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is a general reading so that means it's not going to be for everybody's situation so if it's not your situation that's totally okay. If you want you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs or you can book a personal reading for more specific details. All that information is in the description box and in this reading, because it is general, the roles can be reversed. Alright, let's see Taurus. What is the overall energy for you for the second half of August? Alright, we have separation. All right, well, I feel like that pretty much speaks for itself. So maybe you've recently separated, maybe you are in the process of separating, or maybe this is something you're thinking about, or you're just, you've been in separation, and this is something that is still painful. So let's see. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of August. All right, so for your energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups, and Death. Ooh, okay, well, there it is. There was a shift here. I feel like, you know, um, things may have seemed to be really nice on the surface. Um, And then it just ended, <laughs> or you are putting an end to this, or you're feeling like this is over. We're gonna find out more when, when we clarify, but whatever the case is, I feel like there is a major shift happening for you when it comes to this particular connection here. So for them, we have the 10 of pentacles, <clears throat> the three of swords, and justice. Okay, so this person is definitely wanting a commitment with you um, still. And they're feeling very heartbroken. They're feeling very heartbroken about this and I feel like they want to make things right with you. So for some of you, I mean, because obviously, you know, this is general, so it's going to really depend, like, the extent of this. For some of you, it could be, like, a huge breakup, um, divorce. For others of you, it could be just an argument, a fight that has kind of put you guys at a break. Um, let's see the message for you here. We have the lovers, the king of cups, and the king of swords. All right, well, there's definitely either a decision here that still needs to be made, um, <clears throat> About a love connection, so for some of you, and I, I mean this is true for just pretty much all signs all the time, for some of you there's always more than one person involved, all right? Um, it could be that there's somebody from your past and then somebody new that you're dating or you know maybe you're, the person that you're interested in is with somebody else. It could be a whole bunch of things always, all right? So always keep that in mind. Um, but I definitely see a lot of emotional stability and a lot of determinism and decisiveness showing up here for you, especially when it comes to love and particularly when it comes to making a decision, all right, in love. So let's, and I feel like that's what, pretty much what you're being um, called to do here when it comes to making a decision about love. And I actually do feel like there is, for some of you, a connection here that you do really want and that there is um, a strong connection that you do feel with somebody, but you're being called when you make a decision to follow both your heart, but also also your mind, kind of combine both of these together. Because I feel like in this particular case, the answer will be the same. All right, let's see, Wheel of Fortune. I feel like the Seven of Pentacles keeps showing up today. All right, we have the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Cups. There's a shift in you because you were confused. You, you were thinking about a lot of options, a lot of alternatives here. I feel like also um, you may have thought that a particular connection was something that it turned out to not be. 
Um, and so you may not have been seeing the situation clearly. And I see you having shifted or you're in the process of making that shift, being able to see things more clearly and then actually emotionally detaching from the situation because of that. Um, for some of you, it could even be like a turnoff almost. And then for others of you, it's going to run a lot deeper. And it's just, you know, really doing something difficult, taking the more difficult path, which would be um, detaching yourself from this connection, but I feel like it's because you're able to see things clearly now. I feel like before, like I said, it felt like, you know, it, it, it all seemed perfect on the surface, or maybe it was just something that was just um, temporary for you to begin with for some of you, um, or just, just having a good time. Like maybe this was something that, a connection that helped you forget about worries and then, you know, it just ended up being a little bit more serious and it just wasn't, it didn't run deep maybe for some of you, all right? Um, all right, so clarifying the Three of Cups, we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Chariot. Oh, one more, we have the Wheel of Fortune showing up again. Yeah, so this is what has shifted. This essence of, you know, yeah, we're having such a good time. Everything feels so lovely. Um, it was actually keeping you trapped. And I feel like you are now taking a new direction, turning that wheel in a completely different direction and moving forward. Let's see, Death. King of Swords. Yeah, you're you're determined here. You're you're determined here. You're taking action. You're taking action for this ending. Um, I always say, you know, endings we never know when they are a hundred percent. I see you being pretty determined here, at least for now. All right, let's see for this other person here. Let's see the ten of pentacles. All right, we have the Five of Wands and we have the Sun. All right, so Leo energy showing up. Um, I know we also had <clears throat> Cancer, but the Leo is showing up for their energy. So, okay. So for some of you again, and I always say this as well, you know, this could be somebody else than the person we're talking about here. There is somebody here um, who does want a lot who does want a commitment with you. And I feel like this person is stable. Um, this person sees you in a very positive light, they feel like, you know, this is what would make them happy, but I feel like this person feels like they have a lot of competition um, or that it's a struggle in order to have that commitment with you. Um, for some of you, this could even be that there's some arguing when it comes to this. Let's see the Three of Swords. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, so this person is feeling pain, this person is feeling hurt, um, and I feel like this is something that is just really weighing them down. <clears throat> I don't know if, um, I feel like this person actually might feel to some extent that they might be responsible even for, for this break or for this separation or for whatever um, it is that is happening here between the two of you or that has happened. And this is something that is just really weighing heavy on them almost feeling a sense of responsibility for their own pain that they are going through at the moment. Let's see justice. All right, we have the Eight of Wands and the world. This person wants to communicate, um, it almost feels like it's two different groups here. I feel like for some of them, you know, for some of you, um, this person is ultimately, yeah, feeling hurt, still wanting this commitment, but pretty much um, knows that it's done. 
and I feel like that would be the case if it's the same person um, that we're talking about up here. For others of you, I feel like this might be somebody else who's feeling this way about you, and in that case, I feel like this person really wants to make things right because, as I said, they feel responsible in some way. And they just want this whole situation, whatever it is, they want it to end. Um, not with you, I mean the, the separation. They want the separation to end. <clears throat> but they want to do that by making things right. And I do see them possibly um, either communicating with you or taking some kind of action or just really feeling that drive, like feeling this impatience to do so. So yeah, take, the, take those messages um, as they resonate disregard what doesn't because obviously everybody's situation is different so let's see this bottom row all right so for the lovers we have the two of cups i'm telling you there is a connection here there's definitely a connection here where there is a lot of love um where you i feel like you both feel the same way and i feel like you are in the position right now to make to make some kind of a decision again feel free to reverse the role the kings all right we have the ace of pentacles and we have the five of pentacles all right I feel like the message here is that, you know, sometimes in order for there to be a new path, something has, something else has to be released. So we might feel like, you know, in order to gain something, we have to lose something. And I feel like, you know, that is just an issue here, okay? Um, this is a theme for you this month. And I, like I said, I feel like you're being called to really, you know, Listen to your emotions, but also looking at things realistically, logically, and being firm in whatever decision it is that you make. Um, especially if this decision is based in your heart. You know, standing strong. Standing strong, making that decision. Even if it means having to leave somebody else out in the cold. Because if you're not feeling it, well, you know, it's not serving them anyway with you being there. All right, Taurus. So let's get the final message for you. All right, and oh, we got two. We have... <laughs> The fixed moon, hold your vision. Exactly, this is what I was just saying actually. Hold your vision, stand your ground, you know, be firm in whatever you know is true in your heart and whatever decision it is, that shift that you're making, I feel like you're moving in the right direction. And the second one is the disseminating moon, take time to breathe out. Yeah, because this could be intense. So make sure you take some time for your own self and just take a deep breath. All right, Taurus. That was your reading for the second half of August. Thank you so much for watching and much love.